What's up guys? This is the Brian Foreman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode, the garrison of Zagreb is sallying out to attack the forces of Granville Stapleton. So we're going to be deploying really far back, minimize the effect their mortars can have, and then we will attempt to swallow and destroy the rest of their force in an enveloping attack. But we'll soon find out if any of that happens. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the enemy has lots of artillery, so you want to deploy back. We want them, we want to force their infantry to abandon their artillery. Then we can send cavalry around the flanks to go and mop up all their artillery. And then their infantry force will be uh, annihilated. But it is going to get very important that we uh, reinforce this front. Otherwise things can get quite dicey quite quickly. But still, don't have to worry about that just yet. Let's win this battle and all the battles hence come forthcoming. Okay, so let's deploy. I mean, their mortars may well be in range. To be honest, actually, they are. They have a lot of artillery. We may have to just. We may have to just um, push forward and take the fight to them. That's what we got to do. So, let's get our line up as fast as we can. So we can engage them as much as as fast as we can. I'm probably going to say, right. Let's spread out the enemy fire. I'm happy to convict, I'm happy to spend my light cavalry force on um, throwing them into the mix right off the bat. I think that's, that is worthwhile. Especially if we can blitz through their line like so. Blitz through the line. And let's hammer home into the centre of their cavalry formation here. Push forward, men. Oh, we're wavering. Yeah, artillery he was landing all around us. Try get my native auxiliary to ignore this militia unit. Instead, try get them in the, the fight up front. Continental Marines get in. Get in. Push forward. Push forward. Swiss Guard in here. Push infantry forward. Do so you men are trying to engage the firelock armed citizenry? Just get the infantry committed. Get my general up here. Push the general's bodyguard. Yeah, the firelock armed citizenry have committed.
get some more infantry to break through and attack their artillery. Actually, you know my light infantry can do that. My this infantry try to flank around to the back of this garrison infantry. Artillery cease fire. Kill the enemy general. Get my skirmishers to engage the enemy guns. Militia broken, the Swiss guard are breaking. Artillery all pound that unit of militia that's coming in to try help. My light infantry are opening up on the gunners. Excellent. You men form the line. You men engage the Swiss Jaeger. You men engage the Mortar Cruise. Actually, you men both engage the Swiss Jaeger. Light cavalry fall back. The you men reload. Swiss Jaeger of routing as well. Awesome. That was really, really bloody. But still, we have survived. And we have we <laughs> made it through another action here. They have not many men left in the city. Um Yes, I do want to intercept. That's both of these armies. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, let's fight another... Again, we're going to try and go purely defensive because we don't want to lose many troops um, from these armies around. Um, Amsterdam. The enemy should come in. The enemy reinforcement should come in from the far side of the map. They shouldn't, asterisk. Um... <laughs> Shouldn't come in behind us, uh, although it does happen. So right off the bat, we've got a lot of enemy cavalry. So let's place skirmishes up front. Skirmishes and fusiliers up front to drop a bunch of stakes. Good block of infantry down. Some elites and some militiamen ready in reserve. My ranged cavalry on either flank. Okay, you guys. Play stakes. Okay, so they are coming in in the direction that we want them to. Get my grenadiers up in position. So you've placed your stakes, so run straight through the line. You haven't placed yours, but you were taking forever anyway. Use layers have placed them. Light cavalry sharpshooters have done a real number on this unit of provincial cavalry. Yep, they've had enough completely. This cavalry are gonna hit my 
They've gone to try to charge my Fusiliers, but they're gonna get a real hammering from those stakes. Foolish. Maintain the square. Just. So that's all down to that last provincial cav unit. That should probably go away. Get the light infantry out on the flank. Excellent. Good stuff. Carabiner, taking a lot of damage off the bat. Where are my, are my dragoons? Also, put a volley in. Yeah, that's enough for them. Okay, another unit of carabiner. Keep engaging the enemy as they come in. You're going to put a decent volley into these carabiner when you're done. The sharpshooters. I think sharpshooters are officially are just the best light infantry in the game. I think light cavalry sharpshooters might actually speed. No, their accuracy is not as good. Reloading skill is not as good. Need as ammunition. But they are cavalry, so. It's a really ugly right angle in my line, though. Ah, we have enemy artillery coming in. Heavy horse artillery. Do counter battery. Oh, yes, shrapnel shot. Yes, please. Artillery. You're going to see my sharpshooters can try and pick off enemies if I push the center. Which you get to the top. I think that's the thing with shrapnel shot is it reloads quite fast as well. The new guys of shrapnel shot is just going to rip these mercenaries apart. Although we've got one bugged gun. Just blew a massive hole in their line. God, so good. Actually, no, aim at the concentration. You don't have to aim at the dangerous units. They're already under fire. You start picking off the guerrilla marksmen. I 
Where's my regiment of horse? They haven't done anything all game. They can go after the horse artillery. These poor Swiss grenadiers. Imagine advancing on that line, seeing artillery above you just annihilating your comrades. So they're going to struggle a bit over here because they've got the um, trees are in the way. Okay, let's quit the solo tactics. They're advancing through the trees, infantry guards and militia. But we're right there. So the trees might be causing the causing the fuses to detonate early. Get up there, you. We like have sharpshooters. Chase down the militia. go straight for the horse artillery. Killed a few of my own guys there. Okay, let's switch everyone to round shot. Just to prevent a bit of fratricide. Militia aren't really the target priority, really. Go for the Swiss Grenadiers. Kill the general. Well, we've got. Did we? I think did we? Did we killed. Actually killed them. Troy Hill, horse artillery crew. Let us send you after line infantry. Now they are going to get away. Use a would be a good shout. Okay, commit the general. Cease fire the artillery. Get the foot artillery to engage attack ground here and just to try and destroy these gun crews. New men fire it well off. Go after the line infantry guards. You men go after that unit of line infantry. Kill the last of these cowardly grenadiers. You just attack somebody further up the hill. Excellent, although... There we go, now we've broken the back of them. Kill all of the militia. 
We took that personal. Now everybody go after the last of these grenadiers, or the garrison guards rather, but they're soon to be not of this world. Excellent. Some good kills here. Nice. My cavalry sharpshooters, 200 kills. 200 kills, no losses. They stood in game the experience. Still, real good. Really, yeah, really good kills. Um, that's just going to be an auto resolve. Virtue and valor unconquered. Okay, so that's Austria's turn concluded. Looks like they are going to start pulling troops out of the Brest Peninsula. But I don't know if they're going to actually do anything with it. And it looks like Genoa is going to be the one to slow down the game. So we'll see you in a second, everyone. Ah, oh, damn. That was a, this is going to be a long day because that was a 40 minute end turn. <laughs> right, okay, works on strike in New Spain. To be expected, but doesn't matter. We're now ready to rock and roll. Let's get you into Veracruz. You embarked. Let's get the... Get my agents embarked, and let's get these guys over to India as well. Let's let them make the travel first. Good. Panama's got a new town. And then let's do the construction side. Okay. Keep on building. Good, good, good. Granada. Okay. Can you leave Bogota yet? Minus six. Let's get two turns of Dragoon recruitment, and that should be enough. You can hang out in there, Cartagena. Anything else? Lower Louisiana, Guatemala. Right. Do a bunch of upgrading in Guatemala. Including the roads. No, roads are good. Iceland. Everything's on the way. Veracruz. Yeah, we've got a new suit there. The College of Divinity. Upgrade the Army Staff College. Upgrade the port at Tampico. That's super duper. Fleet arrives. Just because we have no visibility on what's actually going on down here. The Austrian Brig. Just sink the brig. Set sail. And let's claim send one of our ships. I don't mind how fast they get down here. Um, delays are fine. Okay, you've still got three ships being recruited. Get some third rates. You've got two first rates being recruited. Let's get two seconds and some thirds. Be another force here at in over in India. Ah, the British are here. In numbers. 
So before we attack, we will firstly we need to um, attack Stockholm and secure the or destroy the British Empire. So you're recruiting. Let's get get troops being recruited in, in Tricomoli right off the bat. Up here. Very well. Riley grounds. Let's attack Stockholm and destroy the British once and for all. And then their armies in India will be destroyed. Then we can land and attack um, Bengal. It'll be owned by the pirates and it will be a much, much simpler action. And things will be great. But then we will start to fight against the Marathas, but we've got plenty of firepower to do that. 24 pound artillery. Good. Rockets are always good fun. Spread them out. Marines, Legion, Riflemen. Just spread them out nice and thin. Spread the cavalry out. Okay, so foot artillery. Engage the breach. Guns. Just bombard the centre with round shot. Destroyed one gunner off the bat. He did a weird forward roll. They've destroyed one of our fireworks. Oh, fireworks. Rocket troops. Rockets are. I really like rockets once you get them. So they're also attacking in the centre. Oh, second, oh, I thought there was a second gun destroyed. It is, but in the centre. Yeah, let's speed up time. Because right now we're just knocking a hole in the wall. Soon to... So the breach is soon to be made. Rocket artillery! They're helping to decrew the decrew the enemy mortars, which is great. I mean, you guys are wanting to sit on the center of the wall, in which case let's take them out. They're slowly chipping away the mortar crews. If we knock out this section of the wall, all of this infantry will be stuck. The rockets will continue to fire. Twelve crew, that's plenty to plenty to crew two howitzers, but now they're down to ten. There we go. Yep, you men are gonna be stuck up there. And that will be the end of you. More rocket firing. Eight crew. Again, we've knocked the mortar capacity down by two. That's pretty good. Um, how it says they're firing whatever they want. But the next volley of foot artillery should... Yep, yeah, they stopped firing, so that's why they've now pivoted. Great. Now you guys up there are useless. Okay, get the troops up.
And ultimately the mortars just keep dropping quicklime on that section above the gate. Just knock some chunks out of these guys. Yeah. They might not be able to do anything, but they can man the fire step and shoot at us, which is still problematic. Okay, the mortars are firing. You might struggle. Yeah, you're probably just going to destroy your own command HQ. First shells landing in on the 79th. To be honest, just push our curiosity air in. Same with you guys, just... Give them orders to run in. Line infantry guards may screw up with our plans a little bit. But we're going to push some troops into this breach. These US Marines scale the wall. Some infantry sat at the, the artillery, mortars at the back. Curiosity area in the centre though, I mean the mortars have destroyed the command building. I'm gonna kill this mortar crew. <laughs> Kill that last gunner, then go after the hussars in the center. Just ceasefire the howitzers, ceasefire the artillery. Send you men in to support the attack to the rear of the breach. You men hold to block those line infantry guardsmen. Marines. Get in the center. Kill the hussars. We might have to throw some more troops into the mix to kill those hussars quickly. Get these marines to just run off the wall, straight down into the fight. Those men can secure the gate. Missiles are wavering. So we've secured this gatehouse. This gatehouse is also secured. Curiosity Air, get in here. Sharpshooters get in here. The light cavalry are going down. You men kill the last of those mortars. Two of the mortars got destroyed when the building collapsed. Swiss line infantry, we've got garrison line infantry, provincial line infantry in the breach. Send the Continental Marines to help defend the gate. To help support the attack on the, uh, the wall, I should say. Line infantry guards are currently winning and they, they may end up winning that sort of engagement, but Pump Central Marines are going to storm up. 
and cavalry just hold. You men just start pumping volleys against the infantry up on the wall. Go kill the last mortar crew. Still carving our way through the breach, but that's pinned a, pinned a lot of good troops. Got him. See, the infantry don't want to charge up the wall, so you may end up having just to, just make them run up there and then charge when they get there. Not that it matters. Because the British have been destroyed. Sweden has been taken. Let's destroy that university immediately. Because that's going to be... Yeah, they really hate us. Get all these buildings repaired. New men replenish. Keep the naval hospital. Destroy the fishery. Repair. Okay, we, let's get this region um, up and running because they yeah, there's been a lot of raining. Good, good, good. Okay, that's hoovered up a bunch of cash. Let's get better roads. Send a cavalry unit to secure the fishery from the Austrians. Heavy frigate, second rate, two second rates. That's not a problem. Works on striking New Spain. We saw that. New national leader. Oh, they've had an election. Their president is rubbish. Status quo. Treasury. He's plus one army. My army minister is plus one treasury. Straight swap. Nice. Navy minister is pretty bad. Well, plus one treasury, plus one army. So he's pretty much good in any of those. Let's get rid of my Navy Minister. Garth Skivington. Good. We don't have to worry about our, our um, India Minister quite yet. Because um, we don't have much of an Indian Empire. Okay, you need to... Okay, right. Let's call up... Call up some... Um, line infantry support because now we've got access to line infantry direct from lisbon actually where are you getting it from oh gibraltar then you're going to cross madrid okay cool yeah right now your job is just to hold more agents in paris Make ready. ronald babington Make sure you're replenishing. Okay, first of all, you need to actually... Forward. If I want to get you guys out without triggering a battle, we need to do Forward. this. Yes. Ready and waiting for orders. So you're my field marshal of America that's landed, and you need two units of light infantry, two units of infantry. So let's make sure we recruit things that aren't going to get us in trouble. Something like that. Anything more? Sweet. Okay, so you're definitely going to square up towards this force under Karl Gmelin in Rotterdam. Um, but first, before we do that, let's make sure we secure Calcutta. Yeah, let's take it. So, ben this is going to be... We're going to effectively turtle in Bengal. We're going to surround it by a ring of armies with a ring of forts and just dare the Marathas to come at us. We're not going to go on the offensive, we're going to stay completely defensive and just build star forts everywhere. Okay, 
Now it's just going to provide close support the foot artillery, the bugged foot artillery. Just stay wide. Ooh, bug grenadiers, that's fun. So this is going to be my brigade of troops going through the town backed up by my native troops we have a contingent of line infantry sweeping around the edge with our light infantry where they can use their firepower bug general bodyguard as well that's fun Okay, they're not actually going to fight to defend the town, so let's just push through it. We are going to come under mortar fire. That's a really big unit of grenadiers. <laughs> Get you up there first with our cavalry. Okay, we're engaging the camel nomads. Enemy mortars are on the move. Keep the cavalry out wide. Warrant Will is going to be off until they reach the crest of the hill. There we go. They are advancing to meet us in the centre. Still the Lancers, Armed Populous, Bajir Infantry. Good, they are shattered. can commit. Continental Marines, secure the town hall. Constant Dragoons, give them a volley. Fire will on. Present. Fire. Charge them, bring the general's bodyguard up. My small grenadiers go here, big grenadiers go here. Okay, you men hit the mercenaries in the rear. Make ready and present the pikemen that are advancing on us. Ten of Dragoons aren't holding up very well against the um, the uh, melee infantry, but that's not unsurprising.
run my cavalry towards my infantry because we're being attacked or being pursued by camels. Alternatively, go after the enemy artillery. Not everyone is the only, only armed pop, only the armed populace though. There we go. Just got them just close enough to my infantry that they could protect my camels. So the way in which you could kill their camels, I should say. Pikemen have been killed. Is their artillery gone? You go after their mortars. Gunners, try and pick off the general's bodyguard, I suppose. You men get into position to just pour volley fire into the Bargier infantry. The Marines pecking at them. Yeah, the camels have returned. probably want to go after the 4th Regiment of Foot, but it's not going to happen. He volleys it. Point blank range. Push my light infantry up towards their General's Bodyguard. Bring my cavalry around. Something like this. Let's write this British traitor. Exceptional shots are. Form up. I mean, I'm going to keep these guys here because these pikemen are just broken. They're not routing. There we go. Delicious. Excellent. Victory is ours. Hey, it's a small Spanish army. I guess they landed troops here to try and take it from the British. Get replenishing let's get repairing let's get building excellent repair you repair the chili production repair dismantle the coaching in keep the college of divinity keep the pleasure gardens repair all of these repair the tea plantations the roads are good Excellent, that's a really good get for us. I mean, we are at war with the Marathas, they're going to immediately kick off. But as soon as we can, we're going to start building loads of infantry and scattering forts around. Right. Next order of business. Upgrade Utrecht to a um, church school, because we're going to need to proselytize a lot of, a lot of enemy land over here. I mean, Paris might be well on the way. Um, but yeah, we need more. So let's take Humphrey Sloper. Send you against this force in Rotterdam. Then if we can secure the bridge to the southwest, the western flank of Amsterdam will be very secure. Or well, the western flank of the Netherlands will be very secure. And then we can focus on pushing towards Cologne. My coffee's cold now. <laughs> right. More rain. Excellent. Set my full artillery up. Set my howitzers up. We are going to be advancing towards the enemy. 
Although there is a town in the way, so there might be a bit of shenanigans to play there. Okay, skirmishers on the left. Give them heavy cavalry to compensate. Just give them heavy cavalry and some dragoons. My regiment of horse on the right. Humphrey, stay on the high ground. Oh yes, big block of enemy cavalry right there. Looks like they might be happy enough just to let us rebalance our line. Beware the immediate cavalry charge though. Like that. Get my Republican Guard into the town. My regiment of horse can push up the back. Yeah, you can... Whoop, quick climb hits. Just stay on, keep our squares strong. Bring my dragoons back, form squares here. Just hold the squares firm. All this cavalry will not break these troops as long as they hold firm charge into the cuirassier good quick climb in response to the enemy Okay, you men have to push out of the town. Republican guards have to push through the town. Somewhere like here. This Republican guard push forward. Regiment of horse push around the flank. Let's throw the infantry into the combat as well, just to help out. Skirmishers advance around. Howitzers quick climb this clump of troops. This large cavalry fight, horse grenadier guards, cuirassier, light dragoons. I've got cuirassier, dragoons, two units of infantry in here. So you guys are going to form up and engage the enemy Freikorps. Aha! Fall back, comrades. Okay, we need to clear out the right flank here quite rapidly keep my foot artillery just smacking shots in the center against the enemy artillery Got my general over here to try to keep the morale up okay you men that push you units push up Cavalry engage the line, the line infantry. Howitzers start to engage the fusiliers. Take them out. Okay, then all of you focus on this unit of light dragoons. Actually, Hessian line, get out of the combat. Form into line. 
start putting some shots into these fusiliers. The skirmishers are doing a grand job holding them off. Cavalry withdraw, American infantry mercenaries getting the line. Dragoons withdraw. Cavalry form up. The right flank has been won. Storm up and take the positions. Keep killing their line infantry. How it says focus on this these this large clump of infantry. Get my cavalry around the flank. These are fusiliers, so if they try bayonet charges, that's a very bad idea for them. Fusiliers are not as good in combat, in melee combat. Artillery keep engaging the general's bodyguard. Okay, cavalry engage them. My dressier. Go after the general's bodyguard. Let's get Mr. Sloper on the field. Okay, let's not waste our time chasing down that unit of nine line infantry. There's plenty of other good men to kill here. Smash the shotgunners just to get the battle to be over. You kill the marines. We are going to continue. Let's cease fire the artillery. Okay. The actual blunderbuss shotgunners themselves aren't a massively important target. Not compared to some others. Kill the last of these fusiliers. It's a really ah. Oh, there's one guy over here. Okay, he might stop and fight. Yep, there he goes. Let's combine you guys and go after the howitzer unit. You guys have more than enough to go after these marines. Nope, oh, the enemy artillery are dead. They're going to escape. As long as I get that marine, I'll be happy. Nope, that was pretty good. Don't give up the ship. Yeah, full stack down to about a third so we can repair that. You can replenish and cover the bridge. They may put you in a position to support that bridge. Meanwhile, two good armies facing off to the east. That's good. The Netherlands is recruiting extra troops and let's get recruiting more troops in general great 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 okay, let's just go auto, let's just go auto resolve that fight against the austrian force we lost one ship that's okay Put you into Newcastle. Uh, 
Excellent. So William Charlton, you've recruited a new a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, that's too much artillery. And let's get a regiment of horse. One, two, three. Four spaces. I'm going to get four just... Uh, let's get... Three Western European mercenaries plus one unit of sharpshooters. That'll be enough for you. Because yeah, the more... Eventually, well, you can see they are bringing additional troops to bear from the other front to deal with this. Which is good. Obviously, you also need a bit of reinforcement. And let's move Elias, Elias Freeman. There you go, we're doing an inv African invasion of Zagreb. Oops. Let's get you into Zadar. Disembark the army. Go for Vienna. We can probably... Okay, I'm going to maintain the siege just because I don't want to auto-resolve it and destroy this force. But once we take Vienna, we can start to um, g generate actual European troops. We've done, we've done all of this. Okay, we've done all of this. Okay, let's... Forward! Sir, march! Yes? Oh, it's really nice when the uh, the recruitment links are broken and you don't know who was getting what. Let's assume that you're getting that other unit of skirmishers. You're recruiting skirmishers, so let's assume that this unit of skirmishers was going to Simeon Hadley. Just give you the heavy cavalry, because that'll be three units of cavalry you've got recruited. At the ready. Great. Okay. Sir. Oh no! I don't want minutemen. No, 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 no. They're not very good. Well, I mean, they're probably fine in all of themselves, but the main problem is it's just the units just quite small. Republican Guard, Grenadiers, Mercenaries. Just recruit a bunch of stuff like this. Content of Marines and Mercenaries. Line Infantry. You've got your skirmishes. Artillery's probably on the way, but let's just let that take over. Forward for crown and country. Excellent. Also got. Uh... Oh no, they are on the way. Okay, your naval recruitment's ongoing. Super. Could probably do with. Some extra fourth rates. <laughs> some of these populations just haven't recovered. No, oh, no, it's a money thing. I have not got much money. Cool. Um, okay. Blocking the timer. I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the United States of America. Cheers, everyone.